This one comes from Justin. Who has or had the most protected finisher ever in all of history? Great question. That is something that is very debatable. I look back at some of the most dominant superstars in wrestling and Hulk Hogan and the leg drop of doom. I mean, not too many people kicked out of that move. I'm trying to think of moves where people rarely kicked out. Hogan's has to be at the top of the list. I mean, most of the time, the most dominant protected finishers would be for the baby faces. Um, and that's how the match would end. The heels, of course, would hit the big finishers on the top baby faces and the baby faces would kick out. But when the baby face hit the finisher, that was more times than not the end of the match. So you have to look at the biggest babyface stars in history, like Hulk Hogan, Steve Austin with the stunner, um, definitely had to be one of the most protected finishers. When did you ever see somebody no-sell a Stone Cold stunner? I don't think it's ever happened to my knowledge from what I remember. There might have been a time where somebody no-sold a Hulk Hogan leg drop, but even that is very rare. And few people ever kicked out of the leg drop. And except for a few exceptions at a WrestleMania, almost nobody ever kicked out of the Stone Cold Stunner.